Gotham's my bitch. Which bitch. makes you mine, Mass. Thanks for traveling with us back down into the hole that is the video vortex. I'm Josh, and I'm joined here with Tiana. Hey. And the Professor Smoke. What's up? And this month on the video vortex, we're going to be talking about Batman Bad Blood from 2016. Now, the whole premise of video vortex is, for the most part, we're probably going to be talking about movies that went straight to video, like, you know, that would have been... You know, back in the VHS days, you would have rented at Blockbuster or where, you know, your local mom and pop. But uh, occasionally we're going to dip into stuff that's more current. So since there really isn't your traditional video stores anymore, we're going to trip into more current stuff that probably went straight to streaming and stuff like that. Although this movie did go straight to like DVD, Blu-ray and stuff back in 2016. But so that's why we landed, you know, we spun the wheel. We're at the mercy of uh, yet another wheel for video vortex now and we spun it and it came up on batman bad blood so um i've always been a big fan myself of these uh dc animated movies uh what about what about you two yeah yeah i've always liked the animated ones better <laughs> more you could even argue make the argument and it wouldn't be too much that the uh, animated ones are better than the uh, live action that they put out you know <laughs> yeah i'd say for the most part you're probably right yeah i mean there are a few exceptions right but yeah probably. It's th these uh, DC animated features have been fairly consistently at least halfway decent, you know. If, yeah. if you're into that type of stuff, and they tend to usually lean more comics correct too, you know. True. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely more so than the live action ones, right? As far yeah. as uh, like this one particular one is a uh, Grant Morrison storyline, I believe, right? I believe yeah, it was. I believe it's based on a, a a Grant Morrison, like on his run. On yeah. Batman. Although I don't think this one, from what I can tell, is like a it's say it's not a direct adaptation. It's just more of a let, just let's take that run. Right. Um, but this one, uh, uh, according to the lists, this was actually the twenty fifth film of the DC animated uh, original movie series, and this was the sixth film in the DC animated movie universe, and it's also a sequel to the 2015 film Batman versus Robin. So that one I have not seen. I, I'm way behind on watching a lot of these, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, we are too. <laughs> and I hadn't, myself, I, I hadn't seen this one before either. Had, had either of you seen this one? No, I hadn't no. seen it yet. I think they're actually going to be bringing this kind of run of animated films to an end pretty soon because, you know, James Gunn's about to take over pretty much everything DC related. So yeah. I think, from what I understand, I think there's going to be a three-part Crisis on Infinite Earth, like kind of film event this whole calendar year. And then that's going to be it, like as far as this run. And then I think it's going to pick up with uh, James Gunn taking over, like with Creature Commandos or something. So it's going to be a whole new line of stuff here pretty soon. So I'm sure some of this probably comes to an end too with, uh, God, what was his name? The guy that voiced Batman for like a thousand years, Kevin Conroy. Was it, wasn't that his name? Yeah. He passed away what, in 2022, I believe. So. Mm -hmm. Some of that's probably coming to an end. It's kind of an end of an era with his passing, in a way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I really enjoyed this one though. Like I I I wouldn't say it was necessarily unexpected. I mean, it's kind of what I've come to expect from a lot of these movies. You know, they're pretty they're pretty quality, but they're very edgy. You know, it's not these aren't. I wouldn't say this is made for kids, right? <laughs> no, yeah. I'm surprised yeah. it was even PG thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With some of the violence and a little bit of the language and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a, <laughs> there's like little in jokes for definitely more for adults, like the, uh, when, uh, when she was coming out of the club in the one scene and the club is called Molly's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which pretty much reminds you <laughs> of the drug Molly's. All right. Molly. But, uh, and then she mentioned something about techno house. Like this time I was in the, really in the techno house or something. And then, uh, yeah, she's coming out of the, the Molly's Club or whatever, and she's, like, <laughs> you know, dressed in, like, club gear and stuff like that. <laughs> Those little jokes, in-jokes like that, I guess, that are uh, that, more... 
this one's really more about the bat family yeah i mean it's about batman of course but this is more like the i guess their way of kind of broadening the bat family universe you know because they bring in uh um you've got the damian wayne robin which is bruce wayne's son that he has with talia al ghul talia al ghul is the daughter of Ra's al ghul you know one of the big yeah. batman villains yeah um what's his name uh uh Oh God, Batwing! Right? Yeah, they they kind of show the origins of Batwing here. Um, you've also got uh, Nightwing, yeah, Dick Grayson, right? <laughs> Batwoman, you know, Kate Kane, and then then at the you know we don't give a, a lot of massive spoilers, but I don't necessarily see this as a spoiler. Although I'm sure it's just setting up something that came after this. Mm-hmm. At the very end, you see Batgirl, so you really get the whole broad spectrum of the bat family here and uh what do you think of uh, uh even uh alfred pennyworth yeah, yeah. badass in this one too right yeah yeah <laughs> i completely didn't see that coming with uh I mean, we, once again we won't say exactly what happens but what happens to uh the mad hatter yeah <laughs> that's where i'm like whoa you know this, this <laughs> not made for children <laughs> Yeah, it's it's well done. I mean, if you're familiar with the Batman, you know, with Batman at all, even on a cursory level, I think you'll find some enjoyment in it. But even for the the, the deeper fans, you know, that have read a lot of comics and seen all the movies and some of these DC animated features, I think there's there's plenty here for everybody to enjoy, right? Yeah. All right. So what we do here for Video Vortex is usually we come together beforehand and give it a Vortex rating of uh, uh, zero through 10 now we did not come together beforehand we kind of forgot to do that before we before we <laughs> record so i guess we can talk it out here what 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 are you guys thinking like zero through ten now as far as our ceiling so far samurai cop got seven and hands of steel got six those are by far our two highest one so comparing it to that and some of the other stuff we've done it's hard well it is a hard thing to call it like okay it's a lot of personal preference coming in there because you could say I could say all right, Samurai Cop and Hands of Steel would be that type of movie would be my personal preference, maybe over this one. But I don't think that it would necessarily be. This is a much better made film, of course, as far as coherent storyline and things that you know. <laughs> so it all depends, I guess, on the criteria for grading, and and that, that's going to be hard because I think I think we're all. I kind of look at the vortex rating closer to like what you do on grindhouse gutter, where you give the gutter rating of like zero through 10. It's like what makes it kind of grind grind housing. And I think this is kind of the scale for me. It's like all the things that come into play when you're thinking of like, you know, stuff you would have rented back in the day. And I know put it in a more current context with this one, but uh, you know, bang for your buck, you actually had to plop down a few bucks to rent this movie. So, you know, did you get your, your money's worth out of it? So I, I think in that regard, it, you know, it, it delivers, it's entertaining, you know? Yep. Yeah. And I, I just have to take off my hat of, uh, <laughs> you know, cause some people would plop down their money for something like hands of steel and be like, and they take it home and they watch it. That was an absolute piece of shit. I wasted my money, my time, my, you know, <laughs> but then you have me, I'm like, Oh yeah. Fucking hands of steel. This is bad. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really a thing of taking that hat off and like, okay, yes, you definitely get your bang for your buck out of this movie because it's it's well-made, it's got a good script, it's got good animation, it's got good voice acting. So, yeah, you, it's it's just a different criteria for me to rate it, but with coming up with the same rating. <laughs> yeah. And, and the personal thing of, like, I would take home, if I was sitting at a video store and I had these two on the shelves, you know, I'd probably go for a Samurai Cop or I'd go for... Yeah. I already know Batman well enough that, you know, so that's just the personal preference coming into it. But yeah, I think all all depends on what you're in the mood for kind of thing, you know, too. But I, I think I could come to the same conclusion, you know, and call it the same thing, but separate the two, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah. 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 I really believe this is probably in my mind a six or a seven, but for different reasons that that's what I'll say. Yeah. Yeah. I, I could definitely agree with that somewhere in there. Like, I, I, I don't know. Would you get a six? What did you think? A six. Yeah. A six. Yeah. Definitely. So, so I guess, I think six is fair. We can land on that. Uh, so if you're if you're look if you like I I really think though you have to like this kind of thing for this that this yeah. is not, oh, yeah. it's not for everybody but if you like the comic book stuff if you like Batman I think you'll really enjoy it uh, especially the the edgier take on things because like we said this is not for kids so I would recommend checking it out but just just know it's definitely PG thirteen 
No question. Hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for, for this kind of th- stuff, yeah, just be aware. Like, you probably don't want to pop it in for your seven year old, you know? So, and that might be where the lines, are. like, some, some parents don't, you know, may not realize that, you yeah. know, renting, like, oh, here's Batman. Here's put this Batman on in your, mm-hmm. your five year old or something. And then you're, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, just be aware of that. But, uh, you know, if you're, if you're not worried about the kids or take the kids out of the equation, I think you'll enjoy it if you like this kind of thing. If you don't, you may not. You know, it's as simple as that. This is, probably isn't for everybody, but for what it is, it, it, there's a lot of uh, entertainment value in it. So I guess that'll pretty much do it, you know, as far as for Batman Bad Blood. But we'll go ahead and talk about what we're going to be doing next month. This is one I've never seen. And uh, Donnie's not here, but he actually told me that he has seen this movie. I Not only have I never seen this movie, I've never even heard of it. And we're <laughs> going to be watching Brain Smasher, a love story starring Andrew Dice Clay and Terry Hatcher. <laughs> From 1993, straight to video, flick, action, comedy, romance, directed by Albert Pune. So if you know anything about Mr. Pune, you you know, you probably know what you're in for here. That that that, that would be my assumption, right? Yeah. Now now we're just gonna figure out why, whether it's whether it's a uh, doll man, cyborg Albert Pune, or Captain America, and whatever other direct. <laughs> <laughs> all the other crap that he did <laughs> find out next month here on the vortex so for will and donnie who couldn't be with us tiana professor smoke i'm josh be sure to check out the all american spook show podcast every monday wherever you get your podcast or right here on the channel and uh go to aaspookshow.com for the center of the spook show universe so we will see you next month you're supposed to be dead let me fix that for you